Hey guys, it's Marty and welcome to Two Line Slot Cars. I've been having some problems with my track. and Really, it's about lap timing on my track. Now, you know I built my own hardware and was having pretty good luck. There was a few anomalies like thunder slot, guides, anything that was light colored, um, shiny red from Scale Auto and obviously NSR guides were not reading them very well. So... The hardware wasn't perfect. And I've been testing fast laps, which is a new software. Patrick Langa, he, he came onto the live stream a few weeks ago, gave us kind of a demo and had some internet problems. We'll bring him back on. But I've been testing the software and I absolutely love the software. Guys, it's, it's fantastic. I can't wait to show you. But I want to show you when things are working perfectly. And I'm having some issues and I want to throw them out here on a video ask some questions, show you guys what's happening, and maybe together we can figure out what my problem is. So guys, the lap counting problem I've been having is I've been getting ghost laps. And once I started testing with fast laps, it, it seemed to intensify. And the reason why I think it intensified is I have a better way of seeing the ghost laps than I did before. I was using Race Coordinator, great program. Um, it was working really well, but every once in a while we would get this ghost lap and multiple laps depending on the type of car. Uh, it was just some really couldn't track down what it was, but it was preventing us from having kind of a race night because I did not trust the lap counter. I posted a video showing you how to build this lap counter. And guys, I'm not sure that it's, I mean, it's inexpensive, but it's not very accurate right now. And I think it can improve. I just got to figure out what's going on. So on my track, what's happening is when I drive an inline car like this, slot it, group C, no lap issues at all. I can run 500 laps in each lane and there will be 500 laps counted. Works perfectly. Then I throw this specific car, an angle winder. It throws ghost laps in every lane. Not just the lane that the car is in, but across every lane, which doesn't make any sense to me. And it's bad. About 25 laps per lap, it will try to register in fast laps. And the reason why I say it's easier for me to see them in fast laps, on the practice screen, all of your lanes are up there and it shows up in other lanes. Now, we were getting ghost laps that showed up when we were practicing with race coordinator. But it would be very few. We'd run a thousand laps between the three lanes and there'd be an empty lane and there might be two or three ghost laps in that empty lane. And we never could figure out what was going on. Well, now, I mean, this, this registers 25 laps between all four lanes on one lap of the car. Now I can run this, my Sidewinder, Thunder Slot, missing driver's head, the headless driver. This car is now triggering multiple laps as well. And I guess I should ch test it with some other Sidewinder cars. This this has the Predator 22.5 ball bearing motor in it, which doesn't have a lot of magnetic effect, and it's triggering false laps. They're kind of driving me crazy. Was watching, and it seemed that maybe it was counting laps every time it came across track pieces that had jumpers plugged into them. I had three sets of jumpers in this 60-foot layout, and it seemed like it was triggering, this car was triggering every time it ran over those, those track pieces that had jumpers. So I'm thinking maybe I need to remove my jumpers. So in an effort to troubleshoot, let's go remove the jumpers. So now we have removed all the jumpers and we'll throw this in the white lane. This is an inline, clear all. That's one lap, nice and slow. Make sure it doesn't trigger anywhere else. Three laps. All right. We 
We ran four laps. We have four laps registered. Now we take this. We have removed every jumper. So the jumpers have been eliminated. There's no jumpers. 57, 58 feet of track, no jumper. Already triggered two in blue and red, three in blue. In one lap, triggered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen laps. In one lap. This is madness, but I think I'm figuring it out. I think that it's everywhere I have a digital lane changer. It's interfering with the connection to the Arduino. What if I remove the power from the Arduino control and it just be lap counting. No, no power control. Well, let's unplug it. Black, brown, red. Black, brown, red. So now it can't control the power. There's one, two, three. It's not every time it crosses a digital, and it even triggers over here, and there's no digital. I mean, this is happening so frequent. It's a mystery, fellas. It's still queuing up all those, those laps. I, man, I don't get it. So we removed the jumpers, and you can see the car still lit the counter up like a Christmas tree. My guess is it's electromagnetic interference. I'm running shielded cables to the lap counter. I, I feel like I've tr attempted to prevent everything that I possibly can, it's still causing laps. What I can't figure out is why that works perfect with an inline car. Inline car works perfect. Throw all the flies and I mean, anything that I have that's inline seems to count perfectly. Go to an angle winder and it, it just got worse. And I feel like the more I test, the worse it gets, and I'm at a loss. I'm at the point where I've unplugged the power relay from the Arduino, my digital track pieces. I've never had a problem running analog with my digital track pieces. Are they causing interference? I, I don't think so. And the reason why I don't think so is they're not jumpered, so it's not like they're shorting out. Um, and... And I don't think that they're they're running any power because the positive is on the wrong rail for the lane changers to work. Again, I'm grasping at straws. So if any of you have any ideas what might be causing my issue, put them in the comments. Let me know. And I'm I'm, I'm really I'm open to hear anything. Um, shout out to Rob up in British Columbia. He he is really uh, get, given me a lot of information to think about and to test. Um, John Albright has thrown some things out there for me to try to test. My brother, it's so weird. I feel like it's the Arduino. And I feel like it could even be something in the code, um, in the sketch for Arduino, because fast laps is different than race coordinator. Fast laps seems more um, sensitive to it. And I don't know anything about programming, so when I look at the Arduino code, I can kind of figure out what's going on, but I would not know how to write that code. But it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so I put my phone underneath the track 
because each of the sensors has a little red light. And anytime you break the beam with the guide, that light turns off. And that's what signals the Arduino, the drop in voltage to lap count. Well, when it triggers anywhere all over this track, those lights do not blink unless you drive through the guide goes through the eye, the photo eye. It's not the photo eye triggering the ghost laps. Guys, if you have any ideas, um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What am I fighting? Is it part of the programming in the Arduino that we need to address with Patrick? Is it I've eliminated like shorts, possible the track shorting out in some of those locations? Uh, that I thought it was triggering. Um, is it my digital lap or my digital track pieces? I do not know why that would cause it to trigger a lap. Guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell so you get notified anytime I put out new content. Um, I hope you have a great week. I really appreciate you tuning in. Go have some fun racing.